Summer travel and construction, they kind of go hand in hand. And those two things caused big delays mm. for turnpike travelers over the weekend. News Channel 3's Curtis Johnson is looking into what caused the issue and if it's something that drivers need to worry about in the future during what is a very busy travel season. Summer travel season is off and rolling, but for a period of time Saturday morning, traffic was at a standstill southbound on the West Virginia Turnpike. Multiple motorists telling us the slowdown started around the first toll booth in Shillian. It was very frustrating and, you know, we were trying to get in and out of traffic, trying to get the fastest way to get to Winston-Salem. We had left an hour early. Throwing construction into dealing with the toll booths, which slow things down anyway, um, it was just, it was bad timing, especially for what didn't appear to be a lot happening. The Morses stuck in traffic more than an hour, making them late for a funeral. A director with the West Virginia Parkways Authority saying an anti-skid project moved from midweek to pre-dawn Saturday due to weather, but a broom malfunctioned. Crews forced to sweep road particles by hand, pushing the project past 7 a.m. and into summer vacation traffic. He says this was not an event travelers should expect to occur throughout the summer. So I went for a drive Monday, and I found three lane closures over a 20-mile stretch. While I saw a video of this slowdown on a traffic camera, we found none of the incidents prompted an alert to the state's 511 social media account. We reached out to the Department of Transportation, asking, why are projects occurring during daytime travel hours? Where can motorists be alerted? The department saying a weekly construction schedule is on its website. Much of that work involving just brief lane closures hours-long projects, and work in high traffic areas performed at night. The Morrises say notification can be crucial. I think especially on our turnpike, it's important to know it all the time. It's a more difficult road to travel. So, you know, not knowing in advance, um, you know, can leave you in a pretty sticky situation. Reporting from the West Virginia Turnpike, Curtis Johnson, WSAZ News Channel 3. Now just within the last hour or so, the West Virginia Parkways Authority telling us it has made the decision there will be no makeup days for weather moving forward from Friday to Sunday night. The contractor will also be required to have additional equipment on site for any mechanical failure.